Big boy Thank neighborhood. God. All righty, man. Dion Cole is Ooh. in the neighborhood. Okay. Dion, I can't believe we haven't done this before. Right? I know. And sat right? down in the neighborhood, I know. man. This is crazy. Yeah. I'm excited. Super excited. Fan, <laughs> first off, we got to say fan first, bro. Yep. Yo. Yeah, love. you are a fan of mine first. Yo, thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. No, you're, th- you're a fan of mine. I am thank a fan you. of yours. Yeah, no. And I thank you for letting <laughs> me be a fan. Man, you know what I'm saying? The honor's all yours, man. <laughs> Dion, when did you know you were funny, bro? Because I've been watching you for years. Years, bro, man, you know? I had no idea. It was one of my friends. Like my friends used to be like, "Boy, you be thinking of some crazy stuff, man." And I just would just be me. And one day, my friend was like, "Man, you should you should try stand up." And I was like, "Nah." He was like, "Man, come on, please." And I was like, "Nah, I ain't doing that." And he was like, "I give you like fifty dollars if you do it." And I was like, fifty. <laughs> yeah, I was like, like ah, okay. Went down, tried to sign up to get on, couldn't get on for about three weeks. And then when I did get on. When I got off stage, I was like, okay. Did you have material or you just went up like? No, but the first week I went up, I, first week I went there, I was like, I was just going to tell some stories that I would tell people every now and then. And then when I went there, I seen how these guys was telling these stories. And I was like, I, I could do that. So I started like formatting them to Damn. reach an audience. And then when I came and did it, I was like, oh, okay. I was like, yeah. And you I had never that. tried stand-up before? Never. That? What were you doing? Never. What was paying the bills? I was I was working at this place called Leather Makers. I was selling coats and weed. <laughs> I and heard weed that. that. <laughs> you know, put a little stuff in yo, the pocket. For, I, yo, for real, though. <laughs> did you know the, the, the smell of leather will kill any smell oh. anywhere if you have so much leather? There was mm. so much leather in the store. You could smoke weed right in the store. I would see somebody pull up. We would do this and be like, hey, how you doing? Yeah, and people think that it's the leather. Yeah. They, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't even be able to smell it. So when did you quit the leather business when you say, you know what, I'm a comedian? Like, how long does it take? Do, do, what was your first? Because they say every comedian has to bomb. Right, right. What well, did that feel like? Well, 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 this comedian, this comedian in Chicago, he told me one time, he said, as soon as you bomb, you got to quit comedy. And I was like, oh, okay. This is when I first started. I was like, okay. So as soon as you bomb, you done. And you have been knocking them down? And I've been knocking them down for about a month and a half. Right. And then I like, bombed. I'm- and then I was like, oh, man. Well, it was a nice run. Yeah. I see y'all. Uh, yeah. And I left for like two months. Did nobody see me? And this one comedian saw me in the mall and was like, yo, where you been? And I was like, I bombed. I bombed. Yeah, yeah. it's over. He was like, no. Nah. Like, like, why all, would he tell don't you? Don't all baseball players quit on their strike? I really oh did. I quit. And uh, man, he told me, he was like, man, come tonight, man. I went to the show. That night, man, and rocked again. Where's the friend at that offered you the $50? Yo, he's still in Chicago, my man, Gwell. Yeah, I gave him that 50 back. Hell yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Matter of fact, I gave him $62, (laughs) B. You know what I'm saying? Now, that's the kind of man I am. (laughs) Immature, you know what I'm saying? I love how you tell the story because I wouldn't even tell the story because I wouldn't even want his claim to fame to be he the one that got me in. Like, man, you know he wouldn't do that if it wasn't for me. Right, right, right. right, (laughs) You want to be all out in Hollywood with you? Yeah, yeah, No, I gave him his love. I was like, Yo, man, I appreciate it, man. Because sometimes people see stuff in you you don't see in yourself, yeah, you know. Man. And, and that's that's exactly what happened. I was like, really? And I went and tried, it and it was like, wow. Comedy is a hell of a world, though, bro. It's man. like it's a lonely and it's an instant world gratification. Like you either know you on, right? Or like people tell me, like Dion, they're like, oh man, you could do stand up. And I've had, uh, man, I've had DL like, no, you could do yeah. it there now. In 20 minutes, I can make you laugh. Mm-hmm. Can I make you laugh for 20 minutes? That's a different story. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so it's a difference between like, oh, man, I can yeah. go up there. Yeah. I can get up there and do radio jokes. They're like, yeah. man, get your ass off the stage. <laughs> you know, because it's, right. it, it's, it's an art to what y'all do. Yeah, bro. absolutely. Like, you have, to, you have to, like, make a group of people you ain't never seen before in yeah, your man. life. All laugh at the same thing, so it's it's about the way that you word things. It ain't you know, it ain't what you do. It's how you do it. It's it's about wording. It's about connecting. You know, before being a comedian, I think you got to be a great judge of character, right? First, and then be a great comic. Yeah, you got to live. You got to live a little life. Yeah, yeah, and you got to be able to go in a room and and, 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 and read that that room right instantly. And that's that's how it is. Like with a crowd of people, you got to go in there and read that room. That's why. When a lot of comics do clubs, they love doing clubs rather than theaters. Right. Because it's can, more intimate. You right. can see the people. You can read the room. When you do a theater, 
Damn. You really Ain't can't nobody. read. Yeah, you can't yeah. read nobody. You what just got to go out there and do it. The restraints know? and the super sensitivities now, yeah. man. Like, we, comedy used to be we laughed at what mm-hmm. we weren't supposed to laugh at. Yeah. You know, now we got words we can. We got this we can't laugh at. This is How do you get through a routine even writing now is it a different approach yeah you have to actually write different because of the sensitivities that are like a lot of people have or whatever but i tell people on my shows you're here to laugh you're not right. here to critique if you go to a pool hall you shoot pool you right go, you mm-hmm. go to a swimming pool to swim you are here to laugh yeah. not to judge so if you're judging you're in the wrong spot and please leave please please everybody's we'll on gotcha right now yeah yeah, yeah. please don't come in here <laughs> please don't come in here <laughs> yeah. you're in the wrong place yeah man you know what i mean yeah. but what happens when you have like um you have a special and then it's on tv and then you have the people who necessarily wouldn't go to see what you said but they're on twitter and then they want to critique you. Have you had to deal with a lot of that? Yeah. And they the one who clicked Dion Cole on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, that's all you got to do. You click on here or you can go on YouTube. You can see what kind yeah. of guy I am. And then you can come out to the show. I mean, it's just it's on you or whatever. But people, I don't, I don't, I never did get that mentality. If you don't like Snickers, walk by it. You know yeah, yeah, don't buy it. Like, oh, yeah, don't. I hate this. <laughs> this oh, what is this? Nougat and you know, Terry. Nougat. Let me, let me, let me write the Nougat people <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I got a peanut allergy. Why are you putting peanuts you in the put Snickers? Peanuts in the Snickers. Yeah, yeah, like it says the ingredient. Yeah. Well, take it out. Have you take ever, peanuts out. Right, right, have you right. ever had to apologize for a joke that you said? No, but I have had to like revamp it in a sense. You know what I mean? Because I take people's you know sensitivities to heart when I write stuff right. or whatever, mm-hmm. and I and 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 it's I I feel bad about right. about having to do that. You know what right. I mean? But. I do it, and uh, you know I switch it up. But like, you're not definitely. going out like you're not the shock on. I'm, I'm going to nah, go hurt people. People nah. not going. I can't believe. <laughs> watch what they hear. What I say tonight. Yeah, no, you know I'm, what I'm, I'm saying. Viral. I'm more of like yeah. a cerebral type of dude. Like I like I like I I, I think out stuff and just actually like I, it. It take me a long time to write. Like, right. Really, you know what I used to you love, Dion? We used to come with the notes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he'd be like, well, I'm just going to try these jokes out real quick. And he would literally have the jokes yeah, on there. Yeah. When, I, when, I, when, I, when that happened back in Chicago, I was uh, I used to get so high, I would forget my jokes. <laughs> and so I used to go read them just straight off the paper and then leave. And people would bust hey, up. Hey, man. Now, see, I thought that that was just your act. No. <laughs> I've been doing it. No, I've been doing it forever. But, right. then, but then when I stopped smoking, I used to go... And just perform, and people would be like, "Well, where's your notepad?" Yeah. And I'd be like, "Well, I know it now." Right. And they'd yeah. be like, oh, oh, hey. "You need to start smoking again." <laughs> yeah, 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 you know, I went with things happen like, "Man, Eminem, you need to start getting back on pills." Homie. <laughs> you, were on you know what I'm saying? That's how it was, so, do you though, smoke yeah. now, Dion? Nah, nah, nah. I quit. When, I quit. You stop when everybody starts. I stopped. Yeah, I know, right? Right <laughs> yeah, when it got yeah. legal, yeah. I was like, "He was like, it's not dangerous no more." Right, right. I stopped. I stopped ever since like 2011. Really? What made you stop? I just felt like every 10 years of your life, you need to be doing something different, mm-hmm. you know, and just changing it up for the better, you know. I and that. I just felt like I had a good run, you know. Right and right I was here. like, let me see what this these other 40 years is about. You I know heard. what I mean? Yeah, like, <laughs> let me do this other 40 different. Like, like, oh, that's what the sky is like. <laughs> <laughs> like, like. This is crazy as so hell. This is a flower. So, huh? so what do you do now? Because it's, it's so acceptable now. Yeah. Everywhere we go, everybody smoking is such a pastime. Yeah, I just, and man. And especially for, because see, I never smoked Uh so i don't miss it i don't know how to socialize with it with somebody that did smoke Mm -hmm. it's like everybody's doing it now yeah no i just i keep in mind okay then what that's right. that's what I think about mm-hmm. all everything I do. I always go and then what? Right. Like, I can I can go get I can go get a shot of Hennessy and then then what? Right. Like what what's after that? Then right. I smoke this blunt. Then what? Mm-hmm. You know. And I just I everything I that's do. That's crazy because you know? I thought I was the only in kind of in then what? Mm-hmm. No. Because I, yeah. being five hundred pounds, I turned down a lot of food. Now I be like I can eat that wing, but then what? But then what? Then I have another one. Then, then you what? have another. Then what? Then another. Then another. And then, you know what what and then, then I'm back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> then I start lying to myself about Monday. I'm back on Monday. I'm back on Monday. Dion Cole. Yes, yes, y'all. The red carpet outfit. Yes. Man, when you put... When, now, for one, that was a Gucci outfit. Yeah, Ooh, man. No telling what that caused for people to go after you. 
How much did that? How much did that suit cost? Because it was it was a bell bottom yeah. suit. As soon as I saw it, Dion, I was like, they gonna tear his ass up. Uh-huh. <laughs> Look, I, first man, off, how much did it cost? It was about six, six thousand yeah, dollars. About six. All right, yeah. so you go buy this outfit. It's flared and everything, man. And it was the uh, NAACP Image yeah, Awards. Yeah, yeah. So this is our people. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, like if we can't wear this here, what can we wear it? You know what I mean? <laughs> did you know when you went to go buy this outfit? No. That it was going to cause a problem. No, not at all. See, I'm a Chicago dude. We we deep into disco, house mm. music, all of that. That's our thing. You go to Chicago, we playing uh, uh, Donny Hathaway all mm. the way to uh, uh, Patti LaBelle. We, we get down. So, therefore, that's a big influence in my life, 70s. So, my thing was when I seen the suit, I was like, man, this is dope. And then I seen that Harry Styles from One Direction was rocking yeah. it. So, I was like, man, the way he rocking it, that's dope. I'm like, man, I, I could pull this off. I like this. This is dope. So, when I put it, when I put it on, actually, I had it for two years Damn. before oh, I even wore it. Because like, I, I just was it. like, yeah, I just <laughs> was like, I ain't got nowhere to wear it to. And I was yeah, like, you know, it was finally, special. Yeah, I was like holding on to it. Like, this. yo, yeah, I, he I like, ain't wasting Yeah, he like, I ain't showing up the big boy <laughs> neighborhood like, wearing this one. <laughs> the right moment. Like, I just was like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm holding on to it. So finally, I was like, you know what, man, I, I wear it here. It's all good. I'm not thinking nothing. I'm thinking like, yo, this is it. This is a nice little, little, little. Because I'm known for wearing all kind of, I got a history. You can look yeah. at pictures. I got prints, patterns. Everything I'm always wearing something kind of flashy and different. So this was no different. It was a vel- velvet suit, bell bottom. Ooh. But man, to see what went down because of that, I was like, "Yo, when did this you is know crazy. that people were questioning your manhood, masculinity, talking mess? Like, did you see it, or somebody was like?" So my cousin, so my cousin Ronnie hit me up and was like, "Yo, is Ronnie dude, from Chicago." Yeah, he was like, "Yo, <laughs> hit me, hit me." He was like, "Dude, they going in on you." And I said, "Where?" He was like, "On shade room, all these places." And I said, "Ah." Oh. I was like, I ain't tripping. I was like, I always, I, I always get comments. Yeah. Like, I always get people talk, talking stuff about my about my outfits. I'm like, <clears throat> it's all good. But then I started getting personal messages in my DMs where people was like, "Yo, we gonna get you." What? Oh and God. then it was like, "Yo, yeah. yo, you a you a you a f word, and you know you 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 gay ass uh, bitch, and like just saying st- stuff like that." And I was like. Yo, what, what, why they doing that though? I was like, why they, why they coming like that? Like this ain't just comments because I went through the first twelve hundred comments. Like, yo, it's all good. Right. But then when it started reaching about five thousand and like ten thousand, I was like, this. Oh, there's a lot of hatred going on. So I started asking people. I wonder why black people hate each other so much. And my this one dude was like, man, check out the Willie Lynch letter. And I started mm-hmm. reading it, and I was like, wow, this is crazy. Just the way that we. Self, it, yeah. How we how it self hate amongst each other. So when I start trying to talk about it and leave messages, like man, it's a lot of hate that we have. And I wasn't using the slang word hate like y'all hating on me. I was like literally hatred that goes on, mm-hmm. you know. And, and with the and I said that that we we're doing that right now. And and I got a prime example of that. I have a receipt for this hate. So look, let's look at this hate that we have and let's see what we can do about this or whatever. Because I've seen this thing about Willie Lynch and it said that the way to reduce the Negro is to separate him with his with his own kind mm-hmm. from old to young, mm-hmm. man to woman, and shade color. Mm-hmm. And as long as we could do that, it will last forever for at least hundreds uh, 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 of years past if we do this correctly. And it has. And you know wow. what's crazy, man? You was getting the most hate from I us. Was, from my own yeah. people. Harry because, Styles wasn't like, hate Harry, your suit, Mike. No, you know his, people, like his, people was, his people liked the suit. Yeah. And so when it came to me with the suit, I just was like, man, why my own people hate my... You can not like it. I'm, I'm cool with you but not say, liking I'm gonna it. Kill but saying I'm going to kill you. like, yo, I'm going to hurt you. Yo, you a, you a F, mm-hmm. you a B, you all of this. And I was like, man, I wanted to know what it was. So I was trying to open up a discussion going, yo, y'all, look at this hatred that we got. But then I was being hushed by my own people. Mm-hmm. Everybody was going, man, just don't say nothing. Be quiet. Shut up. Don't say nothing. And I was like, man, like, well, well, well we got receipts. We this, this might be a catalyst to help us have this discussion to right. get rid of this hatred that we have with each other. You know, that's why blacks be killing each other to this day because of this law that was set back in 1712. Man. That's when Willie Lynch came to Virginia to to teach people how to raise their slaves. Like, mm-hmm. yo, the, the same way you break a horse is the same way that they did with black people. Mm-hmm. 
you break them. You strip them of their manhood, tell them they ain't nothing, and it's going to last for generations, and it does. So when other people with their radio stations come and they go, yeah, Dion don't know how to take a joke, it had nothing to do with the right, joke. Yeah, yeah, I can yeah. take you like, joke. My, my skin is thick. My yeah. skin is thick. It had right. nothing to do with that. It was the hatred that came where I was like, man, Did you we feel do something like with this. You had to increase your awareness? Did yeah, well, you feel like like it, it actually it just happened on its own, you know? Like I was sitting up like them, but yeah, I had to get like security and like like at my show. I just did a show in Phoenix. I had security all over the place. Like it was crazy, Damn. and that's what I was it's saying. It's crazy like, how like, we don't put a shield of protection around each other. Exactly, like so we should feel the most comfortable. We should around, around our own, but this is what we do. We tear each other down constantly. Let known fact. I mean, I wear a suit. Harry Styles wears suits. It's different, and I ain't taking up for neither one of these people but you got like uh uh, uh harvey weinstein who was convicted of rape right mm -hmm. not one meme i ain't see mm -hmm. one joke right. nowhere mm -hmm. bill cosby couldn't stop seeing yeah them. man and that's what we do because of this law that has our minds we're conditioned to do that mm -hmm. you got you're conditioned to say these bad things about each other and then just and we don't to, even know where and we, we don't need how to write therapy for it to do nothing you like you just got to shut up and take it and let it die down and then that's it but you know you don't sit up and tell me i can't take a joke dude when i went through about uh, five thousand jokes mm -hmm. and i even posted memes i posted the, the joke about my parents Pants look like Selena's. Right, oh my right. God. <laughs> Yo, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm joking yeah. about it. Like, okay, y'all got me. It's all good. Y'all yeah. ain't like the suit. It's all love, whatever. I'm, I'm joking. So why would somebody be like, you know, not? It was this other radio personality out east, like, yo, he don't know how to take a joke. If you don't know how to take it, it don't have nothing to do with that. Right. I do know how to take a joke. But when it when it come to hatred, and I was trying to use this outlet to go, hey man, look at this hatred that we have. Let's try to sit, let's try to, let's have discussion. Let's have panels about this, about why we hate each other so much, and how can we break the cycle? We might not be able to break it in right. our generation, mm -hmm. but we can have the discussion to have people. But go, you know yo, what, man? Sometimes you know? we don't even want to entertain the intelligent talk. Right. And, they want to say ignorant. I noticed that. Yeah, we and just want to like, that. Yeah. And it's scary. Yeah, because man. it's like it's like the same people with these big outlets. If if, if they 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 make a living off of just tearing people down too, sometimes and it's like we have the receipts, y'all. You see me. This is not a big enough issue for you to hate me over a pantsuit. Yeah, man. It's showing you the hatred that you have. And you, you know have. what I love too is that you didn't try to come overdo it. Like, oh man, you know what nah. I mean? Females out on Slade and nah. you questioning it. You, I was like, I fell back. I was like, man, they going in. They going in. Over, uh, over, so and it ain't all even the whole comments. suit, it was the knee down. <laughs> it was the <laughs> knee down. Yeah, yeah, from here on the there. You know what I mean? Like, oh, man. It was the knee down. We, we hate that quarter of your body. <laughs> like, look at you. We hate your shit. Yeah, game. man. Like, this, this is ridiculous. <laughs> so oh, man. Oh, and it was man. so crazy. So, where's the man. suit at now? Man, it's hanging up in my closet, yeah, man. I don't know what it. to do with it. I got it. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, you want it? You should bring it to the show. Man, people take photos. With the yeah, 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 you, you, you should put it on like years from now, like that Jennifer Lopez dress. <laughs> oh yeah, bring it back. Like man, that's it. Gucci you know I mean? needs to put you in their show. Right, yeah, yeah, right, right. right. Damn, yeah, man. We get we we get some discussion, man. We get they some call talk it the on. Dion Cole now. They don't even no. call it the <gasps> Gucci outfit. They owe you money. <laughs> like, hey, you got that Dion Cole? <laughs> they owe you money. Oh, but you know what? It's been dudes. It's been dudes. It's been like like yo, man. We forget that we rocking bell bottles from now on. Forget mm -hmm. that we rocking this just to be like because. Cause it's stupid, man. Right. What you mean, bell bottles is gay? Like, what do you what do you mean is gay? That's crazy. It's man. crazy, it's just man. Ignorant, so it's, it's an ignorant, ignorant society. It's an ignorant society that's allowed the society to box them into what genders can wear. Exactly. Like, oh no, you're a man. You're not allowed to wear this, or you're you must be gay right. if you're wearing this. And like, I, no, why you? Right. And I'm telling you, man. Else? There's people that's probably mad at me and you right now for talking yes. about for having this having conversation. This conversation. And, look, and oh man, y'all like because they think that we pushing a gay agenda or whatever. Right. And we not. We talking about freedom. We yeah. talk about people doing whatever they want to do. If you want to talk about like we might be influencing your kids, that's your parenting that that right. that, that you, know, you got to talk to I'm your kid about. I'm going fuck my wife after this. Yeah, exactly. 
Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Like, no. But, but ain't nothing wrong with me. If you want to be gay, be gay. Right. You ain't going to stop that. I don't care what you do. If your kid gay, you ain't going to stop it. It's going to happen. Get like, over man, it. get over it. You got a new Netflix bitch. Yes, hey. yes y'all. I Hello. heard that, man. Hey, man, when Netflix come to you, you uh -huh. know what I'm saying, and you hear other people's number, your yeah. number could be good. Do you ever compare your number when you hear, like, <laughs> Dave Chappelle got <laughs> 60 million and Chris got 40 million? You know what I'm saying? Because your money is cool. You perform but you like, different. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. People are Hey, how's everybody doing tonight? Uh, uh, I got a knock knock joke I want to tell y'all. Yeah. So, do, do you shoot knowing it's for Netflix or did you already shoot in the Netflix? No, talk? I did a thing with Netflix called The Stand Ups, mm. and it was a 30 minute special. It was, it was six comedians, and we all yeah. did 30 minutes. I only watched yours. So, yeah. oh, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much. But out of that 30 minutes, they was like, yo, we're going to launch everybody's uh, specials from this. And so, That's dope. so when it came around to mine, I was like, man, I need, to, I need about a year to get this really Damn. tight. You know? But it took me two years to do it, though. And so when it was time for me to rock, I just was like, man, I'm just going to go ahead and go do it. So, you know, I just felt like um, it, there was a relatability that was missing in comedy. You know, it was a lot. It was a lot of there was a lot of other type of comedy going on, but it wasn't too many people relating to people. And that's what I kind of honed in on was like, yo, I just want to I want to be I want to be I want to be grounded and talk about grounded everyday things, man. Do you. When you work out for like a year, two years, mm -hmm. all that material, and then when it goes to Netflix, mm -hmm. it's not like the hit record where you want to see somebody like, oh, sing such and such because it's the uh -huh. hit. You guys burn through material, huh? When that's on, when this on television, it's gone. gone. Damn. And I, I get this thing though, but a lot of people been coming to my shows and they've been like, man, you ain't say slap. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn t-shirt. I got my t-shirt on and you ain't say. Yeah, like, like, brought my woman out to here. Yeah, like, like, come on, man. Tonight, Can you say slap now? Say slap. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. Don't wear that suit again. Don't wear that suit again. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't wear that suit again. Don't wear that suit ever again. <laughs> no, but but yeah, people be like expecting that, and I be like, man, we on to the next thing. Like we working on a new album. We working on the. We gonna have a new special soon, man. So what I'm doing now is just touring, man, and just touching people, telling them how much that. I love them. I see them. I, yo, thank you for your support. And I'm bringing all that new, new to him, man. People been enjoying it. We've been having a good time, yeah, man. man. It's been love. Hey, bro, Definitely. you know that Blackish is the best yes. TV Word. show on love. television. So Thank you. That Thank is you. my favorite mm -hmm. show. <laughs> that is, that's the only scripted television show I watch. Man, oh, are the issues. You know love. what I'm saying? So Blackish mixes. Yeah. I, I'm mixed not really uh, grown, -ish, grown -ish, that you tell me. I love all of that. I love grown But all the issues. You know what I'm saying? But y'all have. Have a great show yeah, over there. Yeah, man. it's the chemistry, man. We all when, oh, you, when you know that's that's a prime example of knowing how to play your position. Yeah, bro. That's what that show's about. And, and your, you see it. Hey man, your part could be small. Oh, I know. Big. It could be a look uh, like your support in blackish yeah. is amazingly how, funny, so bro. Much, man. How much Thank of that you. was you bringing to the character, Charlie? Or how much was it like Kenya saying, well, this is what we want to do with it? Well, I wasn't even supposed to be on the show. Oh, wow. I went over there to be a writer because I'm a writer. I write. I wrote for Conan for about eight years. I wrote oh. for a lot of great comedians. So I went over there to write and... The character, Charlie Murphy, was supposed to be that character. Oh. That's why my name's Charlie yeah. on the show. And so Charlie was like, he ain't want to do it or whatever for some, <laughs> for some odd reason. Yeah. Like, no. And so Kenya was like, you should, man, can you play that role? Because we were thinking about the character and just thinking about how he should be. And yeah. I was just like, man, I had my ideas of how he should be. And Kenya had his ideas. Mm. And, and the character was based off of Kenya, how kind of kind of quirky yeah. uh, Kenya was. And so we came together and I was like, he, he liked the, what I my ideas on the character and we did it that first time and then after that Kenya was like I love that you're out. afraid of, afraid of uh, Diane and that you're like in love with Rainbow <laughs> like every time you mention and you're like Anthony's like yeah. <laughs> hey man it, right? it is a it is a great show <laughs> thank bro. you so like, much and it's so man. well written yeah, and it's so you. conscious mm. thank you at yeah. the same time yeah, yeah, like we, yeah. we really need we need, really topics. need great television need man y'all do great television man, I appreciate that let me tell you what got me in dude like one time my homie I wasn't watching Blackish I came to Blackish I arrived late 
Yeah. But one of my homies was like, hey, man, he was talking about the like the universe, like the head nod. Uh-huh. The head nod episode. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and when I when he was talking, I was like, man, I got to watch that. And I, I'd already been cool with Anthony Anderson. Uh-huh. And even when I'll see Anthony today and I'll tell him, Ant, you got the best television show Yo, that's on real. TV, bro. Yes, how did you and Ant relationship? How, well, how me and me Ant, we went back to Barbershop. Mm-hmm. Like Barbershop 1, when he did Barbershop, I had like a little cameo in it. Right. But when he came to Chicago, I told him, I'm like, yo, you in my city, I got you. And I held him down. And he was like, he always remembered that. And so uh, when I got out to L.A., Ant always showed me love from me, showing him mm-hmm. love in That's Chicago. Beautiful. And so we was just going back and forth. And like uh, like I said, they was looking for writers on Blackish, and I, and then when Kenya talked to Anthony about what you think about Dean, Ant was like, "Yo, yeah, D, D, good people, yeah, bring it. Let, let's Aww. see, what, let's see if he can do it." Do yeah. you still make it back to Chicago? Yeah, yeah I heard I go that. Back to Chicago, yeah, I go back to Chicago all the time. Yeah, yeah but yeah. you live out, you live on the West Coast. Yeah, yeah, I stay here. I heard it. And like, I he's said, like, I gotta work. Yeah, yeah I, I gotta, gotta, gotta work. Like, that's a long ass commute. film, but yeah, I go back to Chicago all the time, man. Yeah, right. absolutely. Yeah, I, I got, I got, I got to hit my music, my disco, man. Right, right, right. right. I got to be careful. You know, they, I know, they. <laughs> you have any kids, Dion? Yeah, I got a boy, man. How old? Yeah, 17. Oh, Woo! man. What is that yeah, like? My son yeah. just turned 13. I, I have a teenage son now. What's yeah. ahead of me? Oh, dude, I'm going to tell you something. Should I just leave now? He, yeah. He's right. he going to start He gonna start getting off in his own world, his yeah, own man. zone. Yeah, I like, I'm definitely. seeing that. Like, like, like my son, I definitely Don't think... use none of his towels either no, now. No, no, oh! no, no, no. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, Sorry about that. We all stiff. Yeah, all right. Super stiff, right? Yeah. No, no. no he, he's, he's, he's having sex. Again. I know he's having sex, though. Oh, well, yours, right? Yeah, yeah. He, okay. said oh. he got to be. He just jumped cool all of a sudden. Oh. Oh. Something about ass that just smooth you right out. You know, right? Yeah, like shoulders, yeah, shoulders yeah, relaxed. Yeah, like, yeah. like, man. He used to be super goofy. Yeah. Like, hey, dad, let's go get pizza. Now One day, like, I was like, come on, let's get some pizza. He was like, why don't you bring me back a slice? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I was like, nah. how you get cool all of a sudden? Nah, like Pop, some cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, good. Man. You go eat that, brother. Like, man, why you rubbing <laughs> like, on your chest? I know. Because I don't feel like eating. Right <laughs> yeah. Now. Get your hand on your basketball shorts. <laughs> what is doing, what's going on over there with you? But you just got your son. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, cool, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, are you, it, are, are man. you a dating man? Nah, I mean, I be, man, I'm telling you, man, I work so much, man, mm-hmm. that it is ridiculous. That's what all the dudes I, say that they, when they, they don't want to talk about it. Like, hey, I'm big. so busy, locked down. <laughs> right, man. That, uh, no. man. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get another 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm trying like, to man. get another 20. I'm married to the uh, microphone, man. I'm married to these jokes, man. I'm married to these grunts, man. I'm married to the road. The road, man. The road. filming in the road. Like, man, I ain't got no. Time, I didn't no. have time to come to this. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have time to come to this. Like, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, right, right. I'm no, still yeah. feeding off death threats, B. You see, high, you, you heard how many messages I got? You see, I propelled yeah, off the man, building man, to get in here. Yeah, he's supposed to be here, Yeah, brother. like, what the hell? <laughs> what do you do? If, no, is there man. a relaxing time for Dion? It seems like it's always work. Not really, man. Like, you know, I, I go out. I go out with a couple ladies. Mm-hmm. You know, we hang out, kick it, you know. But other than that, I, you know. Who's your NBA or basketball? Uh, or a football team. You have a team? Anything. Chicago Bears, really? Bulls, yeah, Blackhawks. I yeah, heard that. Yeah, Chicago Man. all day. Sorry about Man. that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We had a good run, though. Do you ever make it to any of the Laker games out here? No. Nah, I'm actually probably going to one maybe today, I think. Really? So. Yeah, yeah. They're not yeah. even playing today. No. It's today the third, right? Not yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Hey man, I'm like this. you know, what, what, hey man, what, you know when you marry yourself to a team though, like how you man all Chicago. Now you walk yeah. in places, people like, oh man, what you doing? Yeah, yeah basketball fan. You know we hate when y'all have better seats. Like man, he ain't even like yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got his feet all on the and fucking floor. Skybox. Yeah, yeah. Not like, even looking on his phone. Yeah, yeah Skybox. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Yeah. he ain't even eating all the nachos. He ain't even eating all the nachos. Look at this, man. He ain't even left, dipping. Left Look all that German chocolate cake over there. I went to the Lakers Celtics game and there was a bunch of little kids on the floor seats i was like they're not even paying attention yeah. why are they there yeah. oh, who's rich doing kids TikTok. are those right, 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 right. so bad right. right. and at one point there. like way late in the game one of the kids stands up trying to show off his job like shut your ass up you're paying attention the game too busy right move Ready your ass out the way I'm like hey man little privilege entitled ass you know what I'm saying TikTok ass get your feet off the damn court you know what I'm saying? What's the next move for Dion Cole, bro? 
Man, we touring right now. I the Coology Tour, man. We going around. You can go to DionCole.com, get the tickets, man. We touching everybody. Just finished writing a flick. This movie, I heard man. That. Yeah, you know, we got to do it for ourselves, man. Couple shows in the uh, in the works, man. So, man, just keeping it moving, keeping the content fr- content fresh, mm-hmm. and uh, keep coming up with ideas, man. And just man. living life, man, and stretching oh, out, man. man. Bring it, bring it smiles to people's faces, and man, you know, hey, making, bro, making, 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 making it do what it do. Every boy. time I've seen you, man, you always been square business. You always Yo, been great energy. Uh, and I also even just once again, I know you're not tripping off of it, man, but yeah. I do ask the public, man, look out for us again. Yeah. Man. You know what I'm saying? Look, and it's crazy man you you got so much like in a deposit of of being with us in a deposit yeah. of positive like man don't have no don't withdraw all the great stuff that this dude, dude does dude, over over a one time mm-hmm. outfit that I wore that you didn't like it's all good I'm yeah, glad man. you didn't like it but it's all good we gonna keep it moving let's stop the hatred amongst people and there ain't nobody crying ain't nobody doing none of that man we good we yeah. just out here we just want to have fun man, have a good live. time with people make people live man yeah. and love each other let's just love each other what's wrong with loving that, each other Nothing. Well, let me tell you what's wrong with loving each other, brother. (laughs) (laughs) No, let me tell you the the, the problem with the love. Yeah, man. You know what? I hate love. (laughs) That's what I hate. Love. I hate positivity. Hey, man. Hey, how you doing? It's so many of them, though. Oh, man. man. And and it was social media, too. It's like you, you can put up. The picture of a sky. Man. You'd be like, man, it's beautiful out there. Not where I'm at. Yeah, not where oh, I'm yeah, at. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful when you're making money. <laughs> or, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't beautiful when, when your homeboy got crazy. smoked. Like, like, it's the- crazy. It's like, man, you are alive, man. Yeah. My, like, man, rest in peace to to, to the homie Kobe Bryant, yeah, man. Bro. But people, y'all got to let it go, man. Let go of all this stuff, man. Like, like let it go. I had to do owe me $30. I was like, man, you can, you can have that. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Like, I ain't trying to trip over that money. Man, I'm gonna let it go. All the hate that I have, yeah, with man. You was like, you was like, now 35. That's not different. 35. That's different. That. But yo, 30. <laughs> let it go, man. I yeah. see. I see. It's I crazy see what that. we trip off of. What we trip off, and of. when we start to put things in perspective, man, we like, man, man, you know what? I rather have my problems. I rather. You know I'd what I'm rather. saying? Because I don't. There's some problems I just don't want to trade. Right. For. But when, but when you see somebody down, what's wrong with helping them? Why? I just don't understand why we be tearing each other's mm-hmm. down, but we tear ourselves. But you know what, man? We in a tear each other down society we in yeah. a gotcha society you know what i'm saying yeah. and i even tell people you see me out there get my ass well help me out yeah. don't record me don't record you know man. Like, it like, yeah, but right. it's crazy man and i think that is dialogue like this amongst everybody man. that continue to like you know and i'm down with anybody that want to start a panel a discussion if y'all want to talk because it's further than this this show right here but the, you using your platform the correct way yeah bro where, where you bring me on and we have a discussion you don't sit here and make your own opinions about me or whatever you bring me on and we talk about it other people they make their own opinions they don't invite me on the show right. they just say what they want to say and you're part of the problem you're adding you adding hatred and, and fuel sometimes to, man to the nine like, times out of nine is people it. that know you it is it is they know damn. me and i know them yeah and it's man. like you could have called me and you could we could have talked about this and i could have showed you my agenda and i could have showed you my receipts and you could see this yeah. instead of you just sitting up here trying to get a rise out of the people because you got the voice too. I don't yeah, have man. a radio show, so I can't reach who you reach. I, I ain't talking that. about you, but the other people that was talking, whatever they was talking. It's like, I can't reach like you reach. So I'm going to fall back, but you... You're accountable for that, brother. Yeah, bro. Easy You're call. You're accountable for that hatred. Man, you know? I appreciate you coming Love. into the neighborhood, man. I appreciate you, big man, boy. Man, Dion Cole in the neighborhood, yes, y'all. Yes, y'all. Big boys, big neighborhood. Boy. Koology tour. Come on out, everybody. Hello. 